sorry, that won't cut it. Hang on. Yeah, I'm playing Hong Kong hardball. Let me wrap it up and I'm yours for the day, if you want. Oh, good. I would like to discuss some business. I have a deal for you. Look, I'll need your commitment by close of business today. My time, not yours. Good. What sort of a deal? You are so funny. You just made what? A zillion dollars and you're just right on to the next. What, the next zillion? What are you putting on the table? Well, not money, I'm afraid. Power? I like that too. <gasps> yes! Power! That's good. It's, it's power of a sort. Empowerment would be more accurate. Well, trendy in any case. Jax, I am offering you the empowerment of having what you want, which is still Lois, right? In exchange for? Helping me. With what? Makes Sunny jealous. I, I, in return, am going to help you with Lois. What's new about that? What do you mean? Well, isn't that what we've been doing all along? No, I beg your pardon? What you've been doing all along, using me to get in Corinthos' face. How could you say such a thing? Well, because it's perfectly obvious and perfectly true. No, no there's no need for disclaimers. I mean, I'm not offended in the least. How come? Oh. Wait a minute. So, if this were true, and I'm not saying that it is, you're saying you wouldn't mind? Oh, on the contrary. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. In fact, if you kiss me again like you did the other night, you might have to marry me. <laughs> Perfect. I, if you don't object to the theory, then why would you object to the proposition? I mean, this is Hey, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. If you're looking at this as, uh, as some sort of deal, then what's in it for me? I told you I'm going to help you make Lois jealous. And in return, you're going to make Sonny jealous. Why would Lois be jealous of you? I mean, if anything, she'd be relieved that we found each other. Because the sad truth is, erroneous and absurd as it may be, Lois still prefers her husband to me. Yes, but that's what you want to change. Which brings me to a major philosophical question. What kind of a best friend would be so eager to wreck her best friend's marriage? That is a very fair question. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's true that I'm Lois's best friend. I'm also Ned's best friend. I was best person at their wedding. Uh, I was very instrumental in bringing them together in the first place. And in the second place. So then how do you expect me to believe that you'll turn around and do them in? No, I couldn't do them in. That would be up to you. Oh, but you're willing to facilitate. No, now, I want you to listen to this. If two people are meant to be together, no one can split them apart. Yeah, including me. Yeah, well, if someone could split them apart, what would that mean? That they weren't meant to be together in the first place. I see. Hmm? How would that apply to you and Sonny? What do you mean? Well, if Lily managed to win him away from you, doesn't that mean that you and he weren't meant to be after all? We get at smoke screens, aren't you? Yeah, one of my specialties. But that's not what I'm doing at the moment. Oh, that's exactly what you're doing at the moment. We were just talking about Lois and Ned and their undying love, and you just turned the whole thing around. I made a logical connection to your current circumstances with Sonny and Lily. That's exactly what it is, a current circumstance, a situation. Yeah, and the circumstance being that they're married. They're married currently, and it's only because Sonny and I are in the middle of a process. <sighs> Sorry. You... <laughs> You're actually right. We are like Lois and Ned. Because, you see, at one point, Ned was madly in love with Lois and he was married to Catherine, which was totally wrong. Yes, and also illegal. Yeah, and you know what happened? They got back together. Why? Because they are meant to be together, just like Sonny and I. And I know that, and Sonny knows that, and even stupid Lily knows that somewhere inside herself. <sighs> Look, do we have a deal or not? What would I take on a lost cause? 
Sonny and I are not a lost cause. No, dog. but according to you, Lois and Ned are. Well, you don't think so. Ugh, Ned, this is getting confusing. Yeah, I agree. That's why I believe I'll pass. Okay. Well, I guess if you're going to pass, there's not really much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I guess you're a quitter. I thought that you weren't because you told me that you're not. But I guess everybody has their limits. You know? It's really kind of a shame. Even if you would have lost the deal, you still would have had the fun of hanging out with me. You know, you are uh, rather adorable. Even though you're not my ultimate goal. And you're not my ultimate goal. But I really like you. Hey, Jack. Do we have a deal? No, what the hell? <laughs> really? Yes! Whoa. You won't regret it. I promise. Because... <laughs> <laughs> See, we're having fun already. So do we begin with the rest of today or what? Yeah, well, you know what? I have a lot of business to take care of today. But... I will call you later, or you can call me, or whatever. <laughs>